looking at Java based agent languages, one of them is Jade, which stands for Java Agent Development Framework. Jade is fully developed in Java and is one of the most used frameworks for agent development. It is especially used, useful in managing network resources, and Jade is based on several principles, which are interoperability, uniformity, and portability, ease of use or friendly, user friendliness, and the pay as you go philosophy. Jade also provides a middleware for agent based applications in both wired and wireless environments. This diagram shows the framework of Jade. As you can see, the agents from the applications can associate with a container inside the Jade layer and communicate with applications built in Java. Applications developed with Jade cover a large domain. These include collaborative work support, e-learning, e-tourism, network management, entertainment, knowledge management, and many other similar applications. Another Java-based language is Jack. Jack uses its agent platform, which is a robust commercial product. The Jack language extends Java syntactically as well as with its semantics. If we analyze the syntax, Jack adds new top-level declaration types, which are used to declare agents belief sets and others. Each of the top level types is defined using the hash declaration. And within its clan bodies, Jack defines several statements such as posting an event or waiting for a condition. This diagram shows several Jack statements which can be used in the clan body. So you can get an idea of some simple statements in use. Let us look at the top level entities in Jack. First of all, agent. In Jack, agents are specified by defining the events they handle and send, the data they have, and the plans and capabilities they use. Belief set. This is effectively a relational database that is stored in memory rather than on disk. View. Views are virtual belief sets that are computed from other belief sets. Event. An event is an occurrence in time that represents some sort of change that requires a response. And plan, a plan is like a recipe for dealing with a given event type. And capability is a modularization construct. This is part of a code that shows how a simple plan looks like. So this one is about processing requests and responses. And the following diagram is to give you a brief idea about the development environment used for Jack. As illustrated, it, can, it has a lot of visual aids to make programming easier. And finally, applications of Jack include autonomous systems, modeling human-like decision making, weather alerting systems, and also in decision support for military purposes. Moving on, let's look at JDEX. The JDEX programming language is a combination of XML and Java. The XML notation allows programmers to specify individual agents in terms of BDI concepts. The BDI concepts are then implemented as Java programs. JDEX is neither based on a new agent language, nor does it revise an existing one. It distinguishes explicitly between the language used for static agent type specifications and for defining the dynamic agent behavior. A JDEX agent consists of two components. The first one, an agent definition file for specifying beliefs, goals, and plans as well as their initial values. The second component is the procedural plan code. This is a diagram of a JDEX agent. For defining ADF, an XML language is used for the, that follows the JDEX BDI meta model specified in XML schema. And the plan bodies are realized in an ordinary programming language, for example, Java, and have access to the BDI facilities of an agent through an application programming interface. This figure shows an overview of the abstract JDEX architecture. Viewed from the outside, an agent is a black box which receives and sends messages. All kinds of events such as incoming messages or goals 
serve as input which dispatch the event to plan selected from the plan library. In JDAX, the reaction and deliberation mechanism is the only global component of an agent. All other components are grouped into reusable modules called capabilities. The ADF of an agent is shown in the figure where tagged elements of the JDAX meta model are in boldface and embedded expressions are in italics. The model starts with the declaration of the agent tag specifying the name and package of the agent. The package is used to resolve references to other files. If we look at the applications, JDEX is used in simulation, scheduling, and due to its simple language, JDEX is well suited for teaching and research purposes. It is also used for portable PDA based applications. Another Java based language is called JAM. Each JAM agent is composed of five primary components a world model, a plan library, an interpreter, an intention structure, and an observer. The world model is a database that represents the beliefs of an agent. The plan library is a collection of plans that the agent can use to achieve its goal. The interpreter is the agent's brain that reason about what the agent should do and when it should do it. The intention structure is an internal model of the goals and activities that the agent currently has and keeps track of progress the agent has made toward accomplishing those goals. And finally, the observer is a lightweight plan that the agent executes between plan steps in order to perform functionality outside of the scope of its normal goal. Changes to the world model are or posting of new goals triggers reasoning to search for plans that might be applied to the situation. The JAM interpreter selects one plan from a list of applicable plans and commits itself to execute the plan. This in turn places the plan onto the agent's intention structure. The agent may or may not immediately execute the newly intended plan depending upon the plan's utility. This diagram shows the main JAM architecture. It clearly shows the relationship among the different components that were discussed. Moving on, we will look at another agent-based language, which is JSON. This is an extension of agent speak language which is run on BDI agent based architecture. Some things are good, such as the support for persistent belief spaces, relatively straightforward distribution, and the high level speech act based communication layer. However, it is not very convincing that JSON has much of an advantage over just writing things in languages like Prolog or Scheme. Let us look at some features of JSON. It has speech act based interagent communication, annotations on plan labels which can be used by elaborate selection functions, the possibility to run a multi agent system distributed over a network, fully customized, cu customizable selection functions, trust functions, and overall agent architecture. It has straightforward extensibility by means of user-defined internal actions. As you can see, this program shows sample code for a bomb disarmament robot which could be a useful application of JSON. Other main applications of JSON include airport automation system, web and grid-based applications, social simulation, and also animated characters for computation computer animations.